Despite being friends with big stars like Ru Lou Reed and Bruce Springsteen, the singer and songwriter Garland Jeffries has been described by critics as one of America's best kept secrets. He's had hits in the 70s and 80s with songs like Wild in the Street and Matador, but it's been 13 years since his last release. Garland's with us now. Very good morning to you. Good, good, good to be here. You've got a bit of explaining to do about a 13-year absence, but we'll hold that minute. thought <laughs> and we'll have a look at the music first and then you can explain yourself. Okay. I'm gonna get there. this to people here you see we show you pictures you haven't seen for years yeah you? that's great <laughs> so tell us a little bit about this break because mu much is being made of you taking quite a bit of time off well it, it, keep it very simple i have a 16 year old daughter now and uh, she has been assured all along in her brief life that her father's been there and her mother's been there and uh, that was the best thing, best decision I ever made. I have a wonderful, wonderful kid. Very, very emotionally, psychologically strong and fit for this insane world we're in. And uh, I'm very proud of that. And you take pride in the fact that what you took her to nursery pretty much every day, did you? Yeah, well, we did that. You know, the you know nursery school. Yeah. Uh, going to school every day, being there for her. You know, not out of town. I'm out of town all the time. Yeah. I haven't been home for a month now. But if, if it were when she was uh, three, four, five, just... six, I, I think that's not the best uh, scenario. So you talk about uh, your daughter's childhood. When you were a young boy, uh, is it the age of 10 or 11, you were mixing in extraordinary circles, although at the time you wouldn't have known that, but your, your mates at the time, your friends, turned out to be uh, enormous stars. Well, along the, along the way, you know, I'd say, you know, I mean, I, I grew up listening to music very, very early, hearing, uh, like uh, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, I'm talking about the music of my parents. And then Frankie Lyman was my idol growing up as a kid, as a 10-year-old, as a 12-year-old. And then as I, as I moved into, into old age, <laughs> I, I uh, uh, you know, met a lot of wonderful people. Uh, the, some of them are still friends, you know, like, like Lou. Lou Reed is, uh, we've been friends for many, many years went to school together, uh, you know, we, we occasionally do something together. Uh, I keep coax, want to coax him to come out and let's do an acoustic tour together. We might do that, we're talking that about it. Oh, you're talking, good. That could be fun, you know, and, uh, uh, but my experience is that, that, that I love music, and at this point in my life, all I want to do is perform. Mm. You know, there's no record business anymore as such, but there is a business or a, an experience of performing to your fans, you know. And that's what I discovered again here in, in London when I played at the Jazz uh, Cafe. The fans um, were there. It was just, I loved playing for them. It was wonderful. Um, let's hear a little bit about the, from the new single. It's called The Contortionist, so people know what you sound like now. Hanging in the playgrounds of the rich Which is what and what is which Time gone by to got the end Can't stop the music Can't stop the music It's called The Contortionist um, explain that to us. Well, the contortionist is uh, really uh, about how people really need to seem or see, seem to think that they need to twist themselves into different kinds of personalities in order to get through, mm. you know. And uh, I think everybody has, you know, everybody we know, and including ourselves, have had to ha deal with that. How can I get in? I have to do this or do that, you know. And, and that's what I'm pointing out. I used to be a contortionist, doing this and doing that. No longer. Hanging in the playgrounds of the rich, which is what and what is which. Mm. You know, you were saying about uh, how you're delighting instead of going out and performing again. Now, of course, uh, lots of, how do I say it, elder statesmen 
of, of uh, the rock industry are still working. You've know, got the Rolling Stones just about to gig again, who, some of them in their 70s, and Art Garfunkel, who sat here this week. Mm. Well, those uh, guys are really old. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> comparing ages, but I'm just saying, there is, you know, people are saying, why not? Why not just carry on? You know, there's a different, I, I sense there's a different atmosphere generally in the music industry. Hey, man, what am I going to do, sit at home? <laughs> you know, I want to play, and, and if you can play, that's the deal, and, 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 and at this particular time, you better be able to know how to perform, because you can't make a living any other way, you know, and, and, and the real deal is it being in front of your audience, the, the audience that have loved you all along, whether it's in a concert hall, a club, a house concert, that's what they're doing these days in the States, you know. Playing in front of people, there's nothing like it. What's a house concert? House concert's the greatest. You go over someone's house, they invite you over, they contact uh, 50, 60 friends. people yeah. in, your, in, your na in the neighborhood that they're from, yeah. and they throw a show for you, and you perform in the... They're starting them in the UK Are as well. Are you busy this weekend? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. It's going to cost you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carl, it's Shame. lovely to see you here today. Thank yeah. you for coming in. Yeah, great to be Carl here. Carl and Jeffrey's album, The King of In Between, is out right now.